Hello, and welcome to Chair Interval Training, brought to you by Community Access Yellow Springs and the Yellow Springs Senior Center and me, Lynn Hardman, Silver Sneakers Flex Instructor. But you don't need Silver Sneakers to enjoy the benefits of this one hour long Chair Interval Training class. Basically, all you'll need is a sturdy chair and a great attitude. You can exercise in your chair the whole time, or you could do some stints or intervals on your feet. It's up to you. I know you've got this. Just keep moving. Hey, I hope this episode finds you happy and healthy, hunkered down at home for the holidays, because it's not the best time in the world to go traveling, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, we are always exercising with paying attention to our own body, going at our own pace, weighing the benefits versus the risks. And we always want the benefits to be much greater than the risks. So that's the whole idea about this exercise program. And it should be the whole idea behind your safe celebrations, hopefully at home with your best bubble of beloveds. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, let's get started. But before we do, remember, consult your physician before you start this or any new exercise program. If you feel out of balance or dizzy or out of breath at any time, just head on back to your chair. So let's clear out a safe area around our chair. Make sure there's nothing to slip, trip, or fall on. And it's good to wear sturdy shoes that are made for the activity. Uh, if you're diabetic, you must wear shoes while exercising. And um, if you're diabetic, you want to take all the precautions right now not to have a toe wound and not to uh, end up in a hospital. It's not a good time for that. It's never a good time for that. But um, since we're at home safely uh, celebrating whatever holiday it is that we uh, do with our own traditions, Let's take a virtual vacation and have some fun on a little Caribbean trip around the warmer beachfront parts of the world, shall we? Remember, use your best posture. It helps us to move easier. That's one of the goals of this class. And it helps us to be better balanced because another very important goal is to get stronger, which helps our balance. We're trying to reduce our risk of falls so that we can age in place with grace. Very good. Let's get some music going. Hopefully you got some water nearby. And just do your best to remember when you need to just take a little break. You can exercise the entire time from your chair. So let's get moving nice and gently. Using our best posture means ears stacked directly over our shoulders. Shoulders down in those back pockets, I like to say. And then shoulders stacked directly over our hips. And if you're seated, your knees will ideally be right over your ankles. When you're standing, that's also ideal. <laughs> and just march it out. And do a little body scan, check yourself before you wreck yourself. How am I feeling today? Ask yourself that. And if anything hurts, reduce the range of motion or substitute something you like to do or simply take a break. We're just getting warmed up. So let's come behind our chair, double check, nothing under our feet. Nice wide hip width or so stance. And we're gonna gently flex down into that mini squat, down and up. We've got our chair within our peripheral vision and within our reach so we can use it as a balance check. Good. Getting our tailbone back, keeping our head and chest up while we do the mini squat. Warming up those hips. Let's see how it feels to push up into the balls of the feet. Come up to your tippy toes. A few more times if you like. You can reach with one hand, reach with the other, or both if you feel well balanced. Good, this is good. Let's push side to side. 
This is nice and slow. Let's try it a little bit faster. And roll those shoulders. Hips and shoulders are ball and socket joints and they need a little lubrication. And motion is motion. I feel like I'm next to the ocean. Heck, we could do a backstroke, or maybe we'd like to do a front crawl. My favorite stroke is the breast stroke. Try that. Opening up your chest and shoulders. Just experimenting with our range of motion. See how it feels, because every day is different. Warming up gradually helps us to move better. Good, how about close, open. Pat yourself on the back if that's within your safe, comfortable range of motion. Wonderful, how about let's march it out and take it over to one side and march that right foot back. And this push that heel into the ground as you lean forward a bit. Ah, and a nice long strong diagonal with that right heel on the ground. Pull up to the ball of your foot. Good, and repace that heel on the ground. Now pull up to the ball of the foot and get your shoulders directly on top of those hips and tuck your tailbone under, curling your spine. Use your chair for your balance. Tuck that pelvis under and enjoy a nice stretch on the front of the hip and the whole spine. Excellent. Rock it back. Pull your front toe up. Keep your head and heart up as you hinge a little bit at the hip as if you're taking a bow. Keep your head up, chin up, good. Let's try those stretches over on the left side. Nice tall posture, able to touch that chair, walk your left foot back. Toes are pointing pretty much straight ahead, heels pasted on the ground, make a strong head. Oh, that feels good. Remember, if it hurts, modify. Pull up to the ball of your foot, stretch, and then come back down, pace the heel and lean a little further forward. Gentle stretch, especially in the beginning of our exercise. Now pull up on the ball of the foot and bring your shoulders directly over your hips. Dip down a little bit and then tuck your pelvis under. A little bit of a cat curl and then open for a cow. Open your chest. Close. If your balance is rock steady, you can take it to both arms. Excellent. Let's march it out. I want to preview a couple patterns we'll do. You need to be right smack dab behind your chair. Stay there. I'm going to come to the front so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. We're going to do a super slow cha-cha pattern. We're going to step out. And one, two, three. Step out into that mini squat. And one, two, three. You got your chair because this is an agility pattern. We're going to take it a little bit faster. Out and one, two, three. Out and one, two, three. Good. How low you go into that squat is up to you. Keep your body weight centered on both feet. And later on, if you feel like it, we can get rid of that cha-cha-cha and go double time. Here's what that will look like. Step, step. You have to step with your weight equal in both legs. You got it. March it out. I'll show you the other pattern. This one's more about balance. So on the right side of your chair, we're going to do three sets of four and work on our balance with this right leg. We'll do four knee lifts, and then we'll do four hip abductions, and then we'll do four leg curls behind us. And then we'll take four 
four little steps and do the same thing on the left. Four left knees, four abductions, four hamstring curls, and then we'll take it over to the other side. So that's what's coming today. If you're in your chair, you are where you need to be. If you are on your feet, we're going to transition to the chair for a tiny bit more of a warm up. Before you get seated, it's best to have your feet actually feeling, touching the chair legs. Keep your heels digging in, get your hips back, keep your chin up, figuratively and literally. We're going to have to work at a little holiday cheer this year, I think, and quite a bit of next year. So let's all all remember, you know, the human condition is, is fragile sometimes, but we can do it together. We do, as social beings, we need each other. So practice what I like to call aggressive friendship. Phone a few friends every day, write a few more letters. The one thing we've got is time, right? I'm going to set this down. Whenever you like, it's a good time right now when we're in our chair to get a sip of water. And when you reach for things down low, whether you're at home exercising or on the beach somewhere, it's best to step to the side, lean to the side, brace with your strong core and brace with your arm on something stable like your mat. Here's to happy, healthy holidays at home. Or wherever you roam, if you have a good system and you had to go somewhere, you could be safe. If you had underlying health conditions, that would be a good idea. But if you had to, there are safe ways to do it. And we just have to use our big, beautiful brain. Huh. Okay. Let's sit forward in our chair so we could be active. Engage the core. Tuck our shoulder blades up back and down in those rear pockets. Ah, good. And let's just step out to the right, out to the left, good, in to the center, and do it again a little faster. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Just warming up a little faster. Out, out, in, in, pump those arms, maybe roll them or play those steel drums. And leave your feet nice and wide. Toes and knees pointing the same direction. Let's stretch a little here on the inner thigh. Gently, slightly hinging forward at the hips, but keeping the back long and strong and the abdominals engaged. Roll that one shoulder, ooh. And the other. Couple reminders. Walk your feet together. If you like, let's get a little outside of the hip stretch. Figure four. Remember, as we go on our first little aerobic interval, we want to shoot for a medium intensity or an intensity that suits our abilities. Let's stretch the other outer hip. You might be able to stack your ankle on top of the lap. Now, on a scale of one being the lowest possible intensity and 10 being, I can't even move another inch. We are shooting for a four to a seven perhaps, or even an eight, but we must be able to talk and we must feel safe. So that being said, you can move in your chair with your cha-cha-cha out and one, two, three, those of you who know you're going to be on your feet, get to it, take your time, okay? And I'm going to join you up there. So, we're shooting her, I don't know, eight to ten minutes of this. Make sure your area is free and clear of stuff. We don't want to slip, trip, or fall. We'll be behind our chair to start. And we're going to step out to the right. And one, two, three. And slow to the left. And one, two, three. Good. You can go at whatever pace you like. You know you best. 
Let's try it a little faster. Out and one, two, three. Out and we can always see with our peripheral vision and touch with our hands our balance check, our chair. Think of it as your dance partner. Now, how low you go with your scalp out, cha 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 squat is up to you. And maybe you want to come up to your tiptoes in between. That's one way to add to the intensity. We always work on agility, balance, and coordination because we know it reduces the risk of falling. So let's add some coordination to this. Let's push the same direction, same side arm. Good, we've got the other hand to check the chair for our balance. Let's add a little clap in the middle if you like. Push, oh, push. Try to clap my chair. Good. Let's try pushing twice. Push. Push, push. Push, push. Clap, clap, clap. Push, push. That's a little harder, isn't it? Coordination. Don't worry. Don't worry. Helps if you say it. Push, push. Clap, clap, clap. Push, push. Push, push. Okay, one more on the left side here, and then no hands. Let's try moving our feet a little faster and get rid of the cha-cha-cha. Are you ready? Here we go. Step, step, step. Good. I hope you're good. How are you feeling? Can you talk? How could we add coordination here? We could add our opposite pushing arm. Push, push. Warm, how about you? Got our feet moving, our circulation is pumping, our heart is getting strong. Four more. Three, two, one. March it out if you would. On that scale of one to ten, how are you doing right now? I hope you're all right because the surf is up and so is the tempo a little bit. You can return to your chair, but if you're on your feet, you want to be on the right side. Feel that tempo. We're going to take our cha-cha pattern forward with the right and back with the left. You ready? Let's try it. Step right, cha-cha-cha, step back, left, forward right. Always able to touch and see your chair with your peripheral vision. Good, let's do two more at this tempo. And if you like, we can go a little faster. Step, and one, two, three. Woo. You can go down low and up high on your tippy toes to add intensity, or you can just take it nice and easy. You'll benefit in the chair or in the air at your own pace. Good. Four, a tempo. Three, two, do you think we can get rid of the cha-cha-cha? Forward, back, step on it, step on it. That's a little harder than side to side, in my opinion. Four more, three, two, just march. Ha, ah, that was fast. Do you want to try it again? Can you pass the talk test? Come on over here to the left side. Same pattern, forward and back. Real slow at first, with the left foot forward, right foot back, left, forward, cha, cha, cha. Right, back. Got it? This isn't so much a Caribbean song as it is a surf song. How low you go and how high on your tippy toes is up to you. But don't walk away from your balance check. We don't want to wipe out, do you? All right, one more slow 
Then let's try it at tempo. Here we go. Forward, cha-cha-cha, back. Forward, back. All right, feeling okay? You can make it little or big. It's up to you and how your abilities are today. At this moment, how about four more? Three, two, and if you like, even faster. No cha-cha. Forward, back. Now step on it. Excellent. Four more. Four, three, two. Let's go surfing. Maybe your left foot's forward, your right foot's back. Maybe you can lean forward and balance on that left and lift your right. Got your chair. Maybe you can lean back on that right and lift your left. Pull that core in. Again, on the right, lean forward, lift that foot, pull that navel in towards your spine. And let's hang 10, <laughs> leaning back. Woo! Let's march it on over to the other side. But before we do, let's get that heart rate up again. Before we balance, behind our chair, let's try our cha-cha-cha. To the side again, out, and one, two, three, out, and let's take it back ever so slightly over your right shoulder, just a little, over your left, make sure you can touch and hold your chair. This is at the slower tempo. One more time, and then we're gonna try a little bit faster. To the side, out, and cha, 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 out. And if you feel like it, tuck it back a bit. And open your chest. After you, no, after you. Sink down into those hips and legs. Strengthen them. Four, at tempo, three, two, one. Just march it out. Let's take it over here to the left, to the right. Kind of get that left foot back a bit and the right foot forward. Let's sink down on our surfboard. Lean forward and lift that left leg back there. Balance, got our chair, lean back. Lift that right foot, pull the navel in. It'll help your balance. If you like, one more time, leaning forward. Ooh, leaning back. How are you doing? That was a bit of workout, but that's what we're here for. It's time to do our strength work. So, before you get seated, make sure your feet are touching, actually touching your chair. This gives you two things. It makes sure that you're close enough, should you lose your balance, you'll land in the seat. And you're centered on it, so that's good. We wanna set ourselves up for success. The other thing is, is that we tend to keep too narrow of a stance to be polite when we squat, but it's really, it behooves you to squat like a baby. Get your feet hip width or a little wider even. Dig your heels in, all 10 toes, keep your head up, get your booty back. When little babies squat, they, they just do what comes natural. They do what their body's designed to do. They're a little more flexible too, aren't they? <laughs> okay, how many squats do you wanna do? I'm gonna try four more because it's a, one of the best body weight exercises. But you know you. You can get seated whenever you like. And once you're in your chair, step to the side and lean to the side. Pull that navel in. And this supports your spine so you don't injure it. Also support with your arm. Ah. How are you feeling? When we are doing our aerobic activities, those ones that are intended to strengthen our heart and lungs predominantly, but we also get that agility, balance, and coordination work, that's when we're shooting for our four to a seven or eight. When we're doing our strength work, I encourage you to work as hard as you safely, comfortably can while breathing, okay? So we're gonna use both our ball 
and our band. So let's get them both up front on our lap. You can just lay them on your lap. You can check your little notes. <laughs> All right. We're going to do one legged leg press. And then we're going to add a one armed row. So come to the front edge of your seat, support your spine here, bracing, breathing, and here. Put the ball down between your feet and put your right foot on top. Move it around a little bit. See how it feels to stomp on it. Engage your core and put a little power in it or do a sustained like you're blowing out a candle. This one leg press we're using our hamstrings and our gluteals. And if you hold on to your chair, you could pull and feel it in your biceps and your upper back as well. But take a break from that. We're gonna add, if you wish, a one-armed row. We'll use our band, keep the ball where it's at. And we're gonna take the middle of the band and slip it under the, the sole of the foot We've got two sides of this band or this tubing. We're gonna pass both of them to our right hand. There you go, right hand. Now, if you want more resistance, you're gonna grab closer to the sole of your foot. You're gonna use that left hand on your lap and see how it feels to row, keeping your hand close to your body. If your hand's out here, it's a potential hazard for the shoulder, the rotator cuff. When you're lifting something heavy, and this is lifting weights, we're pulling against a resistance, which is weight training, which is going to build strength in your muscles and density in your bones, and some great hormones that help our, our body fight the processes of aging. Really? All right, so. I get annoyed with this dangly part, so I'm going to stick my hand through those and then grab it again. You get to decide how hard you work, but press your foot into the ball if you want to do the lower body leg press while you do the upper body one arm row. Hold the navel in, feel your body flex forward as your abdominals tighten and strengthen. Feel your gluteals at your butt and the back of your thigh, your hamstrings, tighten as they strengthen, pushing against the ball. And a couple more if you like. Feel your shoulder blades squeeze back and your chest open at the top of the one arm row. Strengthening the upper back, the rear of the shoulder, and the bicep. Woo! That was a lot of work. Let's release the tension on the tube. Set it on our lap and grab that ball. I'm gonna take it off to the right side and stick it right between my legs. Sitting at the edge of the seat, we're gonna strengthen the inner thighs, feet a little closer than knees, squeeze the ball as hard as you can. Remember to exhale like you're blowing out a little candle. What are you wishing for this holiday season? I'm wishing for everyone to be safe and sane inside their homes with special loved ones to celebrate and look forward to brighter times. As you squeeze, dig your heels into the ground and lift your toes up. You can feel the shins strengthen and tighten. You can feel the hamstrings and the gluteals. All right. That's what we're doing. We're also engaging our core as if someone were going to bop us in the belly. But let's take a break with that lower body exercise and I'll give you an optional upper body exercise. Taking your tube, we're going to do a chest press. It's basically like an air push up. If you've got a really long band, and I do today, you got that band under your armpits about chest high. I don't feel any resistance when I straighten my arms. So I'm not going to get stronger if I don't put on an adequate amount of resistance. So I'm wrapping my hand to grab very close to my shoulder joints. And then I'll give it a test. Oh, now we've got some good strength resistance. Open your chest, 
close and curl your spine, engage your core. Breathe in through your nose as you open your chest. Exhale as you close. You can add on that leg squeeze, inner thigh squeeze, driving your heels down as you try to pop the ball, lifting your toes up to strengthen those shins. Of course, the upper body muscles that are working are our chest, the fronts of our shoulders, and the triceps, which are the backs of the upper arms. Let's try a little pulse here. Inhale, like you're smelling your favorite holiday dish. Exhale, as if you're blowing to cool it off. And let's take a break from that. Release the tension, get it off, and just lay it on your lap. And let's do the other one-sided leg press. Support your spine as you put that ball under the left foot. Move it around so you're happy with where it is. Knee over the ankle, hold on to your seat, and try to pop the ball. Imagine it's a great big beach ball. And you're all done at the beach and you can't fit it back into your bag to take it home. Or imagine what you want. Hold the navel in. Hold on to your seat if you want to strengthen your upper body there as well. You can try a little fast, powerful stomp. But remember to breathe. Holding your breath is counterproductive, perhaps even dangerous. Take a break. If you like, loop your tubing under the left sole, equal length on either side, and pass both of those tubing or the band you have to your left hand. Grab it close enough, close enough to your foot that you've got adequate resistance. Support your spine with your hand on your right lap and your abdominals engaged and row. Explore your safe, full, safe, comfortable range of motion and see how it feels. If you want, you can add that leg stomp or that one, one leg press. Good. Do your best. Exhale each time you squeeze the air out of the ball or each time you roll. Doesn't matter on which phase of the motion, so long as you just keep breathing. Engage your core, pull it in, strengthen the abdomen. It's your natural girdle that protects your internal organs and supports your spine. Even if there's a lot of fluff on top, it's okay. In fact, it's actually desirable as we age to have a little more body fat than when we were younger. All right, release the tension on that. We're gonna hang up our tubing and get ready, perhaps get a drink first, for our next interval of aerobic activity. So get that ball up, maybe wedge it in. Get that band up too, step to the side, lean to the side. Help yourself to a sip of water. All right, I think I'm running a wee bit behind, but let me check my music. We're gonna do our four patterns. We're gonna do four, three sets of four on the right side of our chair. And then we're gonna move four little steps to the left side of the chair. I'll show you what it looks like in our seat first. Sitting near the edge of your seat, those of you who want to be up on your feet, go ahead, take your time, you're good. All right, we're gonna engage the core, shoulders settle down, and we're gonna lift that knee in front four times, and then we're gonna open our hips out four times, and then we're gonna squeeze our heel back four times, and then we're gonna take four little steps and do it again over on the left. Knee in front, four times. Yes, open our hips four times. And kick that heel back four times. And then we take four steps to the right. We got our chair, knees up. Best posture, open the hips. Ooh. Got our chair if we need it. Kick your butt. 
or draw back, heel back. Good, and then walk it over to the left. Knees in front, best posture. See if you can do it with that hand near the chair. You can always tap your foot down and then kick your butt. Ooh, that's, a, that's hard. Four steps to the right. Best posture, knees up. Keep that hand close to your chair, should you need it. Hips out. Woo! Kick your butt, or hamstring curls. To the left. Kicking the chair, the couch here. Four knees, up, up, up. Good, hips out, open. Pull the navel in, kick your butt. Or draw your heel back, and then over. You getting this pattern? Four knees, four hips, excellent, and then hamstring curls, other side, four, three, two, four knees, four hips, balance, pull the crown of the head up, 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 draw that heel back, keep the chest high, other side, Good, we've been doing it at tempo. This is hard. Good, draw that heel back. And then four steps over. We're gonna do it at tempo again, and then, just for fun, we're gonna try it fast, but we'll have to make our movements really little, okay? But it's all about balance. Four steps, four. Three, now four quick knees, four, three, two, one, four hip openers, four butt kickers, and four steps. Get your giddy up, <laughs> hips open. Four, three, two, one, and over two. Four, three, two, one, open, 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 kick back, and over two, three, four, up with the knees, out with the hips, back with the heel, and that was hard. Let's slow it back down. You ready? Four, three, two, open. Four, three, two, back. This time, stretch your head up and stretch your heel back, and four, steps down low if you like. Up, 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 out, out, out. Now, keep the head tall, put an imaginary glass of water on there as you stretch your heels back. So up, up, up. Now hips out, out, out. Now heels back. Good, let's march it out. Let's see if I can use this rhythm to keep going. I think it'll work. Couple more minutes. How are you doing on our scale of one to 10? What's our happy medium? Four to seven. Four is, I feel great. Come on, I can keep going at this pace. Seven or eight is, eight is like, mm, I don't think I can continue at this pace. I'm gonna have to tone the intensity down or take a break. All right. Well, let's see if we can use that pattern again, but let's start with our heels back. Four, three, two, hips open. Four, three, two, knees in front. Four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two, heels back. Four, three, two, hips open. Four, three, two, knees up. Four, three, two, take it over. Good. Heels back. I almost forgot. <laughs> Hips open. Four, three, two. Knees in front. Four, three, two. Over to the other side. This is a little bit slower tempo, so I think four heels back. Four hip openers. I think after this one at tempo, if you wanted to try it faster, we could. Four, three, two, four quick little heels back. Four, three, two, 
one and open, three, two, one and front, three, two, one and over, three, two, one, kick your butt, three, two, one, open it up, and up, two, three, four, and over, kick your butt, three, two, one, open, two, three, one, keep your core tight, and over, I'm getting hot, back, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, front, two, three, four, and let's take a break here, check your intensity, Woo! and let's put a little bit more balance work here. All right, we're gonna take those patterns we just did, but we're gonna just smooth them out. So that's posture, going to the front with our right leg, we're gonna balance on our left, Reach it out, keep your spine as long as you can get it. And then take it out to the side, keep the body tall, and then smoothly reach it back. Keep the spine up high, back to the side, and end up at the front. All right, let's see if we can do that one more time as we slow our heart rate before we return to our chair for a second set of Strength training, actually there's several sets. Standing tall, keep your hand near your chair, and just float your left foot out in front. Keep your body as long as you can. Smoothly take it out to the side, keep the body straight and tall. Hold that navel line, smooth it out, reach it back. Squeeze your abdominals in and your gluteals up and tight. Out to the side and then end up at the front. Woo! If you want to enjoy a little hip stretch, because we were strengthening them there, go ahead. If you don't want to, you can substitute your own little lengthening exercise. We're going to return to our chair. Focus on strength again. So get those heels close. Hips back. Make sure you're touching your chair, centered, your, your weight is centered on left and right. As you sit down and just hover, that's a good way to strengthen. You can even get seated if you never got back up and you dig your heels in as if you were going to get up. That's another great exercise to strengthen the hips and add bone density to the lower spine and, and the um, pelvis because that's a common area for the osteoporosis or the thinning of our bones. All right, good time to step to the side and lean to the side and get a sip of water. You're doing good. I hope you're doing good. I feel like I'm at a luau maybe in Hawaii. All right, we're going to use our band and our ball again, and we're going to do some, some more core exercises. Make sure we're right where we need to be. Yeah. Focusing on core. Basically, the core muscles are anything that attaches to the spine. So pretty much your, your thighs, your hips, your abdominals. And this includes all of the muscles around the back of our body. So, um, we're gonna, how do I wanna get started with this? Let's take the ball, sit at the edge of your seat. And let's put the ball behind our back. No, you know what? We have to be back in our seat for this one, sorry. So situate that ball. Just lay your band on your lap, scooch back in your chair and make sure your spine is long, strong, and your heels are digging into the front. Don't let the chair legs tip. Hold on to your seat and press your feet into the ground and keep the spine long and squish the ball behind you. This is a hyperextension. If you squeeze your gluteals, that's your butt muscles, and dig your heels in, you'll feel it in your thighs and your buttocks. You're also strengthening your lower back as you press into the palm. Good. 
Now, if we wanted to add a significant upper body exercise to this, take a break, just keep the pressure on the ball so it doesn't squirt out. You could double up your band if you've got a really long one, or you could just use a single length of it, depending on your strength. Double is gonna be harder. What if, whether you've got one or both tubes or bands, you want approximately a shoulder width uh, between your grip of your thumbs towards each other. Keep your wrists straight and pull it apart as you tuck your elbows back. We're doing a, a horizontal row. Now, if you like, push your heels into the ground. Squeeze your glutes. Keep all four chair legs steady on the floor and press your lower back or your mid back into that ball. Shh, this is a biggie. So we're doing, we've got the option of doing our hyperextensions for lower body core strength. We could do the seated or horizontal row for upper body, upper back and shoulder and bicep strength. Or we can combine them and get a total body exercise. Remember to breathe. I like to exhale on the hardest part of, of the movement for me, but any way you breathe is good. Just don't hold your breath. How many more of these you want to do? Oh, I'm about tuckered out. And that is the goal of our strength exercise. We want to feel like, oh, I'm done. Thank goodness. All right, grab that ball. Let's just leave the band in our, in our lap. Sit towards the front edge of your chair and tighten up your abs. Let's just sit as tall as we can and tuck the tailbone under. Keep the chin slightly tucked toward the collarbone and lean back just as far as you can, feeling the tension for the strength and the resistance on your midsection. Pull the navel in and slide forward just a couple inches where you still have that tension. And breathe, slide forward a couple inches, slide back. Good. We're just holding the ball with our hands open, but if you like, you can add grip strength and squeeze as you come up. Breathe. You could add a little chest and strength by pushing that ball together, but don't bend your elbows too abruptly, yeah? Squeezing, optional with grip strength, wrist straight, squeezing with the chest and the inside of the shoulders, and all the while pulling that navel in. Now, if you want, you could tap one knee and push the ball while you squeeze it into the right knee and the left knee. You can make that motion bigger if you like. Oh, this is a good one. I'm running out of abdominal strength. If you're uncomfortable or you're running out of strength, you could rest your upper back in the chair. Keep the back of the neck long. Do your best and rest. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish off with a little balancing exercise if you like this one's slower pace so we're done with our band i'm just gonna toss it over there this one's slower pace but here's where we're going we'll be standing on the right with the ball on the right standing tall left hand and then we're going to balance as we push that against the outside of the right thigh to strengthen the hip abductors and then we'll do the same on the left okay you can try this in your chair, but remember to keep your core strong so that the spine is long. Try not to tilt either way, okay? You don't have to increase your range of motion. This is about balance, stability, and strength. Set yourself up for success. Take your time getting up. Left hand near the chair, nice tall torso. If you can't, palm the ball with one hand. Get it against your body and roll it over. Shoulders in the back pockets. Pull your right toe up, up, up. Pull the crown of your head up, up, up. And then see how it feels to just push that ball against the right leg as you open the space between your feet and balance and breathe. 
Good, maybe just eight more, or however many you like. Seven, six. This doesn't have to be a big range of motion. I'm working super hard in my standing leg and in my core. The weight of our leg in and of itself is enough resistance to strengthen that right hip. One more. Ooh, I felt that. So the left hip was holding stable, working hard not to move. And the right hip was holding, strengthening, working hard to move. So let's do the best to uh, complement on the left side. Get set up for success, best posture. Able to touch and see that chair with your right fingertips at least. Keep them close. Peel your left toe up, up, up. And then you can always push your uh, step back onto that left foot. Whenever you need a balance check, but stretch the crown of the head up and push into that left opening hip. Keep that left toe up, dorsiflex, and try your best. Maybe just four more. Do it your best four, your best three. And if you want to do more, you may. But this is my best last one. Shh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Felt that in my hips. I'm going to put my ball away so we can stretch a little. Standing. Really important muscle groups that get tight because we're upright bipedal organisms. Most of us are those calves and the ankle and the Achilles tendon and the bottom of the foot. So you got your chair, but better. This is a good stretch against a sturdy beam or a wall or a door in your house. So if you have one of those things and you come over and walk your right foot back, pushing the heel into the ground. Gee, I hope you have a wall in your home. <laughs> Pressing, leaning forward. Give it some time. These stretches at the end of our workout really have um, a therapeutic effect because all of that exercise shortened our muscles, so we're restoring our flexibility. And let's walk the left foot back a little at a time till we can pace the heel on the ground, keeping the knee straight but not locked as we hold up the wall. Taking, taking our time, checking in with our body. If you need to do that again, a second set of stretches would it hurt. But if you're ready, let's return to our chair and get a little water. Make sure your legs are close to the chair. And you could just sit down as slow as you like. Weight equal in both legs. Maybe draw the biceps as close to your ears as possible. Breathe as you hold this chair pose. And then settle down into your seat. Oh, wow. And help yourself by stepping to the side, leaning to the side. And take a little sip of water. We're going to finish up with a little bit of chair stretching, a little bit of relaxation and breathing. So. When we started, we were taking that, that virtual vacation. So wherever you have gone in the past that gave you great, a great sense of calm and peace, I want you to go there for this little part, okay? Before we start our seated stretches, let's just take a moment to lower our gaze, go to our happy place. <laughs> and relax and use all of our senses. You can let your hands rest in your lap. Breathe in through your nose and smell what you smell in that peaceful, calm place. As you fill your lungs, exhale and relax. Wherever you are, all is calm, all is bright. Nothing for you to do 
but take good care of yourself and enjoy the peace. As you breathe in, listen and hear what you hear in that calm and beautiful place. I can hear the surf, the water of the ocean, caressing the sand and then returning to the sea. Slow, predictable, just like my breath, calm. As you breathe in through your nose, ideally, take in the sights in your mind's eye. Filling your lungs from the bottom to the top. As you exhale, relax. And let any tension you feel drift away. What do you feel as you inhale at your beautiful, peaceful place? Maybe you feel a cool breeze blowing against your skin. Or your toes wiggling in the sand. As you take your last mindful inhalation, breathing in, you can almost taste the air wherever it is that you've gone to. That's good. We can use visualization and imagery to help calm our nervous system and to just have a little fun. <laughs> so let's stretch the fronts of our thighs and the fronts of our hips now that we've slowed our breathing and our heart rate. If you take your time and turn sideways in your chair, you can kind of hinge forward and hold on, supporting your spine. Get that left leg back. Trying to lengthen or open this front of the thigh. Let that knee drift down on the left leg. Breathe in. Lengthening and opening your spine upward and back even, if it feels good. If it hurts your shoulder, bring it in. You're still doing a great front of the hip quadricep abdominal stretch here. When you're ready, Exhale and stretch through the left side of your body. As you breathe, you can feel all the muscles that wrap around your midsection expand and lengthen. You can let that elbow hinge and stretch through the tricep as well. And relax out of that. Ease that left leg in and turning towards the front. We'll get the other side, but let's take a nice chest opener here. Hands together in front of you as you inhale, peel the fingers back, palms to open as you lift your heart. As you exhale, let your hands drift down to the chair and just gently latch on. Make sure your chair doesn't tip, but as you inhale, Lean a bit forward and lengthen your body in a strong diagonal. Breathing in and as you exhale, you can let your left ear drift towards your left shoulder. Gently stretching the right side. Breathe deep, relax. another deep breath and lengthen your spine into that up up and away diagonal leaning forward and exhale letting the right ear drift down gently toward the right shoulder breathe and open that space on the left trapezius or the left side of your neck and shoulder I love that stretch. I hope you like it. And if you don't, substitute a different one. Oh, let's turn this way. Take your time. Now your right hip's a little off the chair. It helps 
to hinge forward and support your spine to ease very slowly that right leg back. Your toe can be, well your foot needs to be relaxed. Your toe can be point, pointing away from your body or it could be tucked under. It's up to you. I like it away. Breathe mindfully, relaxed, effortless. Breathe in. Fill your lungs from the bottom to the top. Feel your spine elongate and open gently. If it hurts, don't do it. And when you're ready to exhale, stretch through that right side of your body toward your chair back. Breathe deep, let that right elbow hinge. Pat yourself on the back. And relax out of that. Mm. Let's finish with just a minute or so of mindful meditation or just relaxing. Or hopeful prayer, whatever you call it, scooch back into your chair. Rest your back in the seat back, get comfy. Rest your hands in your lap. And just focus, if you would, for a moment on what's truly important in your life right now. Practice calm, mindful breathing. And this practice will bring you peace, I hope, and comfort, I wish, and a little joy as we have a slightly different holiday season. But I'm wishing you all healthy, happy holidays at home, hunkered down. And if you do go out, simple. Take care of your health and everyone else's. Wear a mask. A good one. Some of our cloth masks probably need to be replaced by now. Make sure it's snug to your face. Good news, when it's cold outside, it's kind of nice to wear the mask. And keep your social distance, particularly with folks that aren't wearing a mask or when we're indoors. And of course, washing our hands and cleaning frequently and just taking good care of our overall health. Don't worry, there is light at the end of the tunnel. We're in a little bit of a bottleneck right now, but hey, wherever you go, keep it safe and simple. Bye for now.